Ah, one of the benefits of working for yourself. When I list, this is my view. It's awesome. I'm really lucky. I'm fortunate. And I thank God every day that I get to look at this while I work. And let's get to the work. Um, here's a, well, my latest $10 haul video. Uh, first is a Baltimore Bullets snapback hat. I think that I'd probably get uh, between 10 and 15. Same thing with this Salt Life Truckers hat. I usually don't pick up hats, but I was being really picky the other day. Um, and I only was going to pick up one or two things at each of my stops. So these two hats were the only things I found at the one location. So I picked both of them up. I think I spent a dollar. They were 50 cents each. Here is an L.L. Bean Lamb's Wool Men's Regular Blue Sweater Vest. And probably wouldn't have picked this up if it was uh, another type, another brand and not wool because it's only a size medium. But I think because it's a solid color and it's a pretty nice actually solid color and L.L. Bean is a high quality manufacturer, Lamb's Wool, I went ahead and I got that. This is a 100% silk Tommy Bahama camp shirt. It's a size large and it's kind of a goldish color with geometric pattern. I think that should do probably well. Um, next is a, a Ben Sherman dress shirt. And I believe this was a size large and it's kind of cool because even though it's buttoned down, every time you use one of the buttons, they're hidden by fabric. So it makes this kind of unique. So I like that shirt. Next one is a Brooks Brothers plaid long sleeve cotton polo shirt. Um, it's got the Brooks Brothers logo right there. So anytime you see a Brooks Brothers uh, item garment with the logo either on a assembly tag like this or um, a chess logo, it works better if you purchase an item that already has the logo on the outside. People like to uh, know or show people what they're wearing. We're all vain, I guess. And this is the last piece. I uh, got this for $2. It is a women's uh, wool blend Orvis sweater. And this, the comps on this are higher than all of the rest of the items that I bought. I spent $10 total. The comps on this uh, range into the 30s with shipping. So uh, it's a woman's extra large. It was in the men's section. I bought it thinking it was a men's. Uh, I checked it over uh, with my eyes taking a look to see if there was anything wrong with it, but didn't realize that it was actually small for an extra large. I usually don't buy women's clothing because uh, I get a lot of returns. That's not one of my strengths. So anyway, $10 for all of these items. And um, those 10 items, I'm sorry, those ten, that $10, uh, I'm hoping I could uh, quadruple that at least. And uh, one more time, walk out to my view. That's awesome, isn't it? Just thought I'd share that with you.